What's up guys, we're going into another game of Gorgon. Um, I'm not sure who the hunter team is, so I'll have to pay attention to the start of it. I barely just got locked in before the time ran out, because this is a really long queue. So I was alt-tabbed at the time, not paying attention. I don't even know what map we're on, to be honest. Alright, so who are we up against? Torvald, Maggie, Hank. Okay, Hank focus. Uh, Med Lab. Alright. I like Med Lab. Pretty good map. I liked it better when I knew exactly where the speed buff spawned. They used to spawn like 90% of the time right near that tower, but they cha when they changed the tower around they moved the spawn or got rid of it. There's only a couple of maps that I know where the, the speed buff spawns now. It used to be one that I would like prioritize because it's so quick to kill, and it's so beneficial at stage 1 for both sides, because you don't want to get caught as monster, but you really want to catch uh, the monster at stage one as hunters. The only map I think I know is Distillery. It's right around that town area. You go straight through the through the buildings and it's down on the beach slightly. Not quite all the way to the beach, but it's hard to miss if it spawns. Um, they may have spotted me, or they may have heard the spotter. But Trapper did make a beeline for my direction, so I'm gonna double back a little bit here. And alright, so that's Val. Trapper's over there. Guess I'm gonna go in this corner a little bit because they're kind of pincering me. Trapper's zoning really well. I might end up taking the fight because they're all getting a little bit low because they're spread out. Like, if this person continues on this path, I'm probably going to ambush her. Especially since it's medic. Alright, Hank shielded her. I still dealt some damage and gave her a small heart attack. Maggie's low too. I don't know what these guys are fighting, but it's good for me. It's a good cloak. I'm on Hank now, but I'll take it. I hope I get a down penalty out of this. They're all solo. I don't think I'm going to, though. They did a good job. Oh wait, someone's really low over here. There we go, I got Trapper. Er, that wasn't Trapper, that must have been the support. They have very similar uh, colors to their names. I mix them up all the time. I know one of the colorblind modes makes it easier. I think it like shows the icon or something. But I don't want to turn that on just for that. I wish that was specifically an option because I do think it's an advantage. But I don't know how much the rest of the like stuff will mess with my eyes. I don't know exactly what it even does. I don't know if it adds a layer to the color or not. But yeah, that went really well. I got the strike on my priority target. Better than I thought. I didn't take any damage. I'm gonna actually maybe ambush them again right here. One of them's low. Now that tree got in the way. I still might get it, but... Come on. Nice. Hank was line of sighted. 
Oh, they got it back up. If I can get another strike on Hank right here, I would say that the game's over. Yeah. I can get out now, evolve, and uh, I don't see them coming back in this game. They'd have to get it like a Miracle Dome. Two strikes on Hank, one strike on Val is, is a ton when they play defensive comps. I'm like considering trying to win at stage one, but I should probably evolve because it's safer. I might take one more dome at least. We'll see what happens. They're low again. I don't know why they're so low, but... Uh, that, that person must have disconnected or something. Someone disconnected just then. I don't know what's going on. The game was basically over before this happened, so that was a good orbital, though. And this is about the best that they could hope for, I guess. If I can get under the uh, under the platform here, though, I should be able to mitigate most of this damage. Looks like we got nabbed by the spider. It sucks when there's disconnects, not much I can do though. Looks like they switched it around, so it's their assault, or maybe their medic didn't disconnect it in the first place. I don't know what was going on, if it wasn't. A lot of times, because there's a low player base, they uh, the things are spread out all over the place. I mean, I've played with people from Asia and stuff. I've had those high things. I've I haven't actually really had a disconnect. I guess there's a couple times, but I don't think it's really have ever has ever been from lag that I've disconnected. It's just been uh, like a crash or something, but. For the most part, this game has pretty decent net code. It's pretty good. And their lag compensation is pretty good as well. It's rare that I notice it, unless it's really bad. I can deal with like 200 ping, and it feels almost normal. And I can still get things done. It's just when like your abilities start to lag behind, and it's noticeable. There's been a couple of times, I guess the time when I can notice it the most is when I'm playing Assault. And usually I wait till the last second to pop my shield. And I know that I popped it in time, but it uh, it didn't register. Tank a little bit as well if you shield a little bit too late. Because sometimes I'll let them think that they can get through uh, the shield to get the down penalty. It's really hard as a monster player to get like someone down to one third of health and then tank shield them. And then you like turn to Hank. Like you don't want to do that. But it's the it's the correct move, but it makes his people make mistakes. I'm kinda trying to right now give them a chance to have that their their person uh, reconnect to the game. If if the uh, assault knows someone on their team can reconnect, so that's kinda why I'm giving it some time. Like I could end it, but I want them to feel like it's a fair game. It looks like they might be actually just re waiting at relay, which if they're doing that, then they probably just want it to be over. I'll see if I can do anything, but 
most likely I'll have to stage up. dome as well so I don't want to get into a situation where I have like no armor and I get domed. I have an advantage but I don't want to play it out stupidly. Just because they have one player missing doesn't mean they can't win the game. If I play dumb. I'll just go ahead and get the evolve. Did that actually work? It looks like those birds didn't go off because I sprayed acid on them. I have no idea if that's actually the case, or if it was a bug or something, but I want to test that a little bit more if that actually works. No, never mind. <laughs> I will do the smart thing and check the sloth buff as well, which is somewhere over here. It's kind of on the way, so I might as well. I don't actually know where it is. I guess it didn't spawn. Oh no, there it is. Uh, that looks like a normal sloth. Yep. Alright, let's go end it. That did not go where I wanted it to. I guess there's quite a bit of gravity on that uh, that spider cocoon thing. The way that I launched, I expected it to go on top of this area here. Because I knew someone would go up there and then they'll get nabbed. That's the idea, at least. Oh, I got all three of them with that. I didn't know Hank was sitting up there. There we go, Hank went down. I was actually trying to eat there, I was surprised that uh, Maggie didn't- Maggie turned back and started shooting me. I had the faster eat buff, so I figured I'd make use of it. Not that it's necessary, but why not? Let's see if I can do a pounce off the side. I really want to get better at doing that in combat, like when the game's not already over. Because that's so fun to do right there. I think that's it though, I think that should be game ending, yep. Alright, well, there was a disconnect, but thank you guys for watching, hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you next time.